more and gave free haircuts at Palo Alto's VA hospital is struggling tonight to stay in business. Yeah, he was hit really hard by the pandemic, and that's when he came up with a new way of going mobile with his barbershop business. KTVU's Asna Smith is here now, and Asna, man, I sure hope this guy makes it because it sounds like he is just doing great work. He is, Frank. He was hit by the recession, and now the pandemic, he has pivoted, and he is taking his skills and barbershop on wheels. It's an art to me, you know, it's, uh, I feel like when I'm cutting hair, it's not like I was having a job. It was at the age of 13, Robert Goodry fell in love with cutting hair, first his brother and then others. Right here. Who is that guy? <laughs> yeah, who is that guy? He was a kid. <laughs> It wasn't until he served in the Marines during the Vietnam War did he realize even more the importance of a good cut. They used to clean us real good every week there. After the Marines, the Louisiana native attended the San Jose Barber College. He opened what he believes is the first multicultural barber shop in San Jose. He also volunteered his time as a barber at the Veterans Administration in Palo Alto. I wanted to give back. I saw it as always oh, helping out another veteran. Then in 2008, the recession hit. Robert lost everything, ultimately getting housing through the Homeless Veterans Reintegration Program. He then worked at another barber shop. In 2020, the pandemic hit. The shop closed uh, because of the pandemic. And I decided to make a slight tra trajectory and I started planning on a mobile barber shop. Robert bought this van and customized it. This is my tools. To go directly to his client's wheelchair and walker accessible. Getting it off the ground, though, hasn't been easy. I lost lawyer clientele that I had for decades. Nonprofits that partner with small business owners launched a GoFundMe to help Robert with extra capital. Who doesn't want to help Robert, really? I think Robert is um, somebody that we're all rooting for. A barber for 30 years, Robert is now 71 and more determined than ever to be successful and continue doing what he loves. There is a barber in New York still cutting hair at the age of 109. I think I love it, love barbering probably as much as he do. And right now, Robert is getting help from a veterans recovery program, and he says he wants to be successful enough so another veteran can take his spot, which I thought was pretty admirable. If you'd like to learn more about his business, we plan to post this story on our website. Frank? So, Asneth, it's a shame that he lost some of his loyal clients, but from what I understand, is, is he trying to cut hair from some Vietnam veterans or other veterans who are disabled? Yes, he's trying to help other veterans, and he's hoping to work with the Palo Alto uh, Veterans Hospital, the VA clinic in Palo Alto, uh, to get steady work. So that is the end goal. Boy, Frank. just God bless him. You know, the, where would the world be without people like him? Uh, as a Smith live for us tonight, as a thank you.